Saint-Louis, one of Senegal's largest cities, is at risk of disappearing. Over the course of a decade, close to a kilometre of its coastline has been lost to rising sea levels. Despite the risk of flooding, many residents of the Longue de Barberie, one of the most flood-prone areas, are determined to stay. We're forever tied to the sea. This is the land of our ancestors. Fishing is all we know. We can't live anywhere else. We'll never leave here. Others have accepted their fate. Day Anta lost her family home to flooding four years ago. Today she lives in a camp with other climate refugees. Come and see where I live. Some 1,500 people currently stay in these sweltering shelters. We are cut off from the world here. We need to travel for kilometers to get to the nearest shop. We don't have water or electricity, and it is very hot inside. A more permanent settlement is being built to accommodate Nde Anta and others like her. The project is funded by the Senegalese government and the World Bank and aims to house 15,000 climate refugees in total. This new neighbourhood is more than 10 kilometres from the sea. As far as mobility is concerned, it will be problematic. But when it comes to improving living standards, we'll succeed. We've prepared a clean site with all the essential features, a primary school, a middle school, a health centre and a market. Officials hope that the first permanent housing will be finished within eight months.